Hi uh, guys, I want to show you one that I don't see spoken about very often or discussed and I don't see people harvest it for some reason. Um, it's a clytosopy and I think a lot of that is because clytosopies can be difficult to differentiate from genus to species. And this particular clytosopy is one that in the field is relatively easy to get narrowed down so that you can take it home, look at it with a magnifying glass, make sure you got what you think you have. And it's a decent edible. It's nowhere near as good as the bluet, which is also a clytosopy, but it's definitely worth investigating and learning. And I can show you some things real quick in this video that will help you determine whether a mushroom is actually a clytosopy or, or not. Clytospies are usually a nude to pink spored funnel shaped mushroom. And the particular Clytospy that I'm going to show you today is Clytospy adora. You see this mycelium in the leaf litter? That's usually telltale. Now this is an old specimen, so I'm probably going to leave this one at here, but this is what we're looking for. You can see this pyramid shape that starts from the stem and goes upward. Now when this is younger, that pyramid shape will go on into the hat and the hat will be also pyramid shaped. And then it'll flatten out with a very slight depression in the center. The two features that you're looking for in order to identify this particular Clytospy odora is the smell, which smells like licorice or anise, and this green tint or green hue. I'm going to show you some more examples real quick behind Dawn. She'll have to move over there slowly so you don't get dizzy by the camera. Right here. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. Whoops, I broke it. I'm trying to cut it. You see the blue-green tent? And then, of course, the pyramid shape of the crowded gills. And then the smell. It smells like licorice. Those two key identifying features in the field will help you determine whether or not you have a clytosybe. You look for the mycelia fuzz, which looks like cotton in the leaf litter. Look for this pyramid shape on crowded gills and the odor. The odor is definitely very licorice or honest-like. And then the green hue from the center out fades to its margin. Here's another example. I don't know whether you can see the green hue on this, but we'll add some photos and a plate to show you newer examples, if we can find any today. And then the last thing is, here is a clytosopy. I do not know which one this is, but it's typical funnel shaped with the mycelium here. And of course the pyramid shape underneath but this isn't green tinted. It doesn't smell like almonds and it doesn't smell like licorice. It just smells earthy. So it's a clytosopy as well. And there are many clytosopies. Some of them you do not want to eat. So the honest scented clytosopy, hopefully you'll be able to see this, identify it, learn it, and become really familiar with it. Please do your own research and use this as a reference to further your investigation on that wonderful mushroom, the honest scented clytosybe.